Hey guys, I'm Chris and this is Busted Knuckle DIY and today we're going to take a look at a vacuum cleaner that needs a little help. Oh hell, I can fix that. <coughs> Honey, can you bring me a band-aid please? All right, so you guys, you can see this is an Oric XL commercial. Uh, it's owned by a lady that uh, does own a residential cleaning business, so it's uh, definitely one of their daily use tools and takes a beating. And uh, let's pan up here on the handle. There we go. Stay. All right, so the problem is when we flip the switch, nothing happens. Uh, so we're going to be looking for an electrical short. So the first thing that we're going to do is get it opened up and check and make sure that we've got voltage flowing through the switch and down to the motor. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let me get it laid down and uh, let's get it opened up. Okay, so the tools we're going to use to begin our diagnostic work here are going to be a Phillips screwdriver, uh, which I have attached to my impactor to make life a little faster, and a multimeter with a continuity setting. Uh, we're going to check and make sure that the power is in fact flowing from the outlet uh, into the switch here. So uh, let's get this thing opened up and uh, we'll proceed with that test. All right, we got all the screws out of there. Let's set those off. Grab our multimeter here and start doing some testing on this bad boy. Come on off of there. There we go. All right, this is just the retainer for the cord so you can wind it up around back. All right, so we have. Uh, three wires on a standard household plug, guys. Now, if you've got an automotive background like myself, uh, the coloring is a little different than what you're going to be used to. So, uh, you can see here, we have a white lead. Okay, that is the neutral. It doesn't carry any voltage or anything like that. Okay, and the green is going to be the ground. And your black wire uh, on a household plug like this is going to be your hot lead. That's the one that carries voltage to the motor. So, what we're going to do is take our multimeter and set it to continuity. It's the setting here that looks like a little speaker. Okay, and what happens when you touch the probes together, it's gonna make a beep. So we're gonna check these prongs and uh, these wires here and make sure that we have continuity and don't have a break in the wire anywhere. So we're gonna undo the wire caps. Okay, for the plug, okay, obviously household plug like this, again, this big one is the ground, which is more green, so we're going to put one lead of our meter uh, to that ground. Okay, our ground wire is good. So we'll take one of the thongs over here. Okay, so here we go. I don't have anything on either of the other leads, on the neutral or the hot lead, so let's switch sides. Alright, so there you go. So, what that's telling me right now, we'll do this again. Alright. Alright, is that the white wire is broken in here, and I can see it's taped up, so... Well, and that's probably all the issue. While we're in here, we're going to go ahead and do the same continuity test on the switch, which that's real easy. Put your probes on both sides, like this, and then just work the switch. If it buzzes when you turn it on, okay, so literally, uh, we've already diagnosed the problem here. Uh, our neutral lead somewhere in this little plug is broken. so. There's a couple of ways that we can proceed with it. Um, we could 
uh, hack the end off of a regular household extension cord, you know, this two foot length and just replace it in its entirety. Um, but that would cost us a little money. Uh, I've already spoken with the owner of the vacuum cleaner and she's wanting to get it done on the quick and dirty. So what we're gonna do is just remove this uh, disconnect and hack the female end off of this cord that came with it and wire it up direct. Uh, so uh, let's get about that. All right, guys, what we did here is just uh, unwire these from the vacuum cleaner, and then I unplugged the black lead coming out of our short cable that was going into the switch. So we're going to use a couple of tools here. Uh, first of which being a uh, cutter. And we're going to cut this black wire off right here. About like that, and go ahead and skin it back so that we can use a wire nut on the... Uh, on the black lead coming off of the extension cord. So something about like that, pretty easy. See if we can get these wires straightened out and we'll grab the little wire loom off of it. Like I said, this thing is, uh, there we go. All right, so we've got that off now. And you can see where this was taped up and I'm sure that's where the brake's at, but since it's right where it comes to the handle, kind of a pain in the butt to just go in here and fix that. So like I said, we're just gonna do away with this completely. All right, and again, we're just gonna hack this end off of here. So I've got a cutter. It's a ratcheting cutter, it's actually used for PVC. There we go, that's off of there. Gonna set that back up and put our lock on. And uh, now we're gonna take a knife and go ahead and skin, skin this back a little bit, connect these wires up and we should be good to go. And so what I like to do here, guys, I've got a hobby knife is just score around the outside of the insulation. You don't have to go real heavy here. Just kind of be light-handed um, until it moves, just like that. Pull that open. All right, and in this case, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut off uh, some of this extra fibrous material and things like that that are inside the cord because we don't need them. Set that off to the side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and slip our wire loom over top of this right now and just put it on there because if we don't, we'll forget about it. Um, and we're gonna grab our wire strippers. So we're just gonna put a little bit in here, about like so. Give that a pull and uh, get these wires stripped down so that we can connect them to the inside of the vacuum. Right, and when I do this, I like to give them a little twist just to keep them from fraying up on me and going crazy. All right, there we go. So first thing we're gonna do here is take the black lead that we cut off the other one, put that together and uh, put a wire nut on it here uh, to make that a good solid connection. And we may have to play with this a little bit inside the, uh, the vacuum cleaner to uh, to have enough room. All right, but so that wire loom's gonna set down in there. Oh, I think we could probably get away with something about like this ought to be okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug the switch back up with our prong here that we, with our connector that we just wired on. And again, uh, super easy guys white to white green to green and uh, put this bad boy back together. We should be good to go Now when I connect these you don't have to give them a twist like this when you put a wire nut on but I like to do it just uh, helps it stay together Now uh, makes life a little easier on you there, so I think this is a little mag where he's gonna pull it straight and There we go, put those together, give them a twist here. And wire nut it up, and there we go. All right, so our cord is now installed. So it's just a matter now of fitting it all back up and uh, testing this thing out to see if it's gonna work. All right, so you can see we've got everything wired in here and back in place pretty good. Looks all right to me. 
Uh, most of the wires are sitting down in their little grooves here like they're supposed to, so they're not going to get pinched. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get this handle back on it and uh, fire it up. There we go, that closed up nice, which means we didn't pinch any wires. Put those screws back in it. Last one. All right, let's plug it in and see if it goes. All right, we're plugged. Let's see. All right, there we have it. All right, guys, pretty easy repair here. Uh, as we just took the main extension cord that came with it and connected it directly to the vacuum, eliminating our electrical short that we found in that uh, disconnect. So, uh, difficulty here uh, on the 10 scale, probably like a 2. This one was pretty easy, uh, nothing too serious. Pretty common tools here, just a, you know, a multimeter, screwdriver, and you know, wire strippers, and uh, we, we got her done. So, hopefully it helps you uh, with uh, learning to diagnose uh, basic electrical issues like this. Uh, you know, guys, please feel free, throw us a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already as we got a lot more great content coming up for you. Until next time, this is Chris from Busted Knuckle saying keep wrenching.